God, thy mercy, O Lord, held me when I said I cannot. a delight to be back with you in studio this beautiful Saturday morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Nalong Urechuku and you are watching The Strange Acts of God. This is the NSUBD Testimony Show where I get the honor, the privilege to sit down with the experts to go over the wonders of God that we got a chance to see and hear in the course of the week on NSVPD. And for that person tuning in for the very first time wondering what exactly is NSVPD. Where have you been? NSVPD is the new season's prophetic prayers and declarations brought to you by Streams of Joy International, the home of what God cannot do, does not exist. Catch up with us weekdays, 7 a.m. Nigerian time, across all of our social media handles as we continue to revolutionize our world through the power of prayer. And today on the Strange Acts of God, we have Five outstanding testimonies up for review. I am not here by myself. Today I am joined by an expert. She is a consultant ophthalmic surgeon. Uh -uh. And she's here today to give life to some of the wonders of God that we got a chance to listen to this week on NSVPD. Good morning, Dr. Choma. Good morning, Pastor Nalong. <laughs> so good to have you back. Thank you so much. Our ophthalmic surgeon. Good to have you back. <laughs> you, just like, you just like pronouncing that. <laughs> I am fascinated by your area of specialty. So well, fascinated by that. Thank God. Thank Why you. the eyes? Why the eyes? Well, the eyes, um, you know, you are Looking at it and it looks so small, but it's plenty. Mm. There are many, many, many things in the eye. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an organ of beauty. Mm. And just imagine living with short eyes. Just mm. shut your eyes for two, three minutes and imagine a lifetime like that. Mm. Without the eyes, you won't see the beauty of life. Right. Yeah. So I, I just felt that there was more need. There was need to get people who were eye care professionals. Right. A lot of people wanted to do a lot of other things, but I just felt when you see people that don't have vision, people who are blind, right. you, would, you would just tell yourself, we'll do whatever we can to make sure that blindness doesn't fall upon us. Mm. Yeah, I think that's the major thing. Wow, wow. Welcome to the month of June. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yes. June has already ended, ended, in, ended praise. in praise. Already ended. Glory to God. It's starting, but it has ended oh, yeah. already we are walking, in praise. We are walking from the end. Yes. Backwards. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wow. You know, and we've heard re such remarkable testimonies this first week of hmm. June. Just this first week. Just though. this first week Just of this first June. Week. For some, it has already back ended, to back. right? Exactly. For some, I mean, they've already carried their evidence yeah. so, so early on in the month. Yeah. Right. So let's quickly take a recap and see some of those testimonies we got to see this week on NSPPD. This week on NSPPD, immigration challenges were reversed. Hashimoto yes, so. was reversed. Wow. Miracle babies in the course of the week. Mm -hmm. Meconium aspiration syndrome gone. Wow. Hallelujah. Metastatic breast cancer reversed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Marital settlement for three sisters. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Business breakthrough. Heart disease reversed. Seven years of barrenness broken. Wow. It's our Demonic God. Demonic affliction reversed. Wow. Cha. Stage four breast cancer on our lineup today. Miraculous mm -hmm. career breakthrough. Miraculous deliverance from death. Twin babies. Wow. Sarcoma reversed. Hallelujah. Recurrent paralysis reversed. reversed. Thank wow. you, Lord. Wow. Colon wow. cancer wow. gone. Wow. 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 Cancer of the gallbladder gone. Wow. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 What a loaded week. What a loaded week. Oh, yeah. And what a way 
to kickstart this month of June. Like I said today, we have five outstanding testimonies and we are starting off right in your turf. Two eye testimonies. <laughs> we have a testimony from Sister Grace testifying from the United Kingdom. Macula degeneration reversed. We have another testimony from Mama Nelly testifying from the United States of America. Right sided facial palsy, branch retinal artery occlusion. Macula edema reversed. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. Where are you tuning in from? Let us know in the comment section. Click on the share button if you're yet to. We'll be right back. My name is Grace Amufeso. I'm based in Manchester, United Kingdom. I apologize for bringing this testimony a little bit late. It was because we were waiting to get an, a, an appointment, you know, to validate God's work. My husband was diagnosed with macular degeneration. And macular degeneration, there are two types. There's the type where there's got a cure, and the type where there's no cure. You just have to wait until you lose your vision. And that's the type he's got. The, the company they've been managing well. After, from, since last day, he's, he was getting worse, couldn't drive, especially at night. He was couldn't see things even in front of our house to be reading it was heartbreaking but we fasted we prayed we sowed seed and i'm like god this can't happen this can't happen january 2024 a sister call a friend of mine sent me the nsppd so i joined i joined and i said lord if indeed you push directed me hey pastor jerry hey 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 mm. I need to control myself. I said, Lord, if it's indeed you directed me to this link and Pastor Jerry is a man of God, let him mention my husband's case. Ah, Lord, may your name be praised. On the 23rd of January, Pastor Jerry mentioned my husband's case. Macula degeneration. Macula degeneration. Macula degeneration. Macula degeneration. If you are the one, put it on the last stream. Shabada. I announce. Let it be reversed. I jumped. I screamed. I ran. I grabbed my husband. I said, hey, hey, hey. Pastor Jerry has mentioned your case. Oh, God. Pastor Jerry has mentioned your case. My husband can drive now. He can see. He sees better than me. He can do anything. And the most biggest of all. Oh, Pastor Jerry. Thank you so much. There's no macula. Nothing, nothing, nothing. He can drive. He can do everything. Oh, Lord. I don't thank you so much. Pastor Jerry, my name is Nelly. I am making my testimony from USA about my healing. I have been suffering from right facial side paralysis since year 2021 after a stroke attack. But on the 3rd of May, while on the fire altar, the word of knowledge came to Papa. And he said, there is a special grace to reverse paralysis. Anybody paralyzed under the sound of my voice, let it be reversed. But there is a special grace uh, to reverse paralysis. Uh, anybody uh, paralyzed uh, under the sound of my voice, uh, under the sound of your amen, let it be reversed. I claim the word instantly as I wrote in the live stream. I am the one. I am healed. From that moment, life came back to my face. Glory be to God, the error who did it. My second testimony is about a big hole in my left eye, which was caused by diabetes sickness called cystoid macular edema. In order to rescue the eye, I had 24 shots of injections into my eye, but there wasn't any result. Also, laser was applied, but didn't work. Finally, in the left, in the first week of March, two months ago, a man 
testified of his healing on a similar case as mine. I connected as I wrote in the live stream and claimed my own healing. My next hospital appointment was also scheduled in that same month of March, but the date was 13th. I arrived earlier than the normal time with so much joy in my heart that I hear good news that day when the doctor called me into the room for the assessment. Lo and behold, what she saw before wasn't what she saw that day. I was amazed. The doctor was in awe of what she saw. Both of us were smiling to ourselves to each other in happiness and joy. It was a real miracle of God. What God cannot do does not exist. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. God bless you all. Amen. Hey! Oh my God. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, awesome. Jesus. Awesome. Awesome. <sighs> awesome. So she said she suffered a stroke in 2021. Yeah. And three years later, possibly still dealing with the aftermath of the stroke, she said uh, she had facial paralysis. I don't know if it's palsy or paralysis or if it's even one and the Pulses, same thing. Palsy yeah, paralysis. Okay. Yeah. So is this the same as Bell's palsy? This facial paralysis? Yeah. Facial paralysis is paralysis. That is of some facial muscles. Okay. Okay. Now, Bell's paralysis is a little different because there may not really be a cause. Bell okay. paralysis just, just crops up. But you heard what she said. She said she had a stroke. Hmm. So I am guessing that the, the facial paralysis she had was as a result, a deficit. You know, when there is a stroke and a person kind of gets better, yes. sometimes there may be deficits in some muscle bundles. Oh. Okay, yes. Okay. So, yes, you have gotten better. Most of those uh, muscles and nerves have kind of been revived. But there are some muscles that may not be as um, revived. The nerves in them are still, like, having issues. So you say there are deficits there. So I think where she had her own deficits are in the facial muscles. Right. So she one kind side. of had, yes, so she had one-sided paralysis. In most, most strokes, it's normally yes, one-sided. Yes, it's one-sided, actually, yes. So, yeah, so even as you are getting better, I'm sure she, it may, may, ha, she may, have re, it may have resolved, but those deficits, you still have to wait for it to kind of um, resolve mm. slowly on its own. Okay, yes. so this deficit, by deficit you mean it's like a nerve damage, yes. more or less? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this nerve damage, is it reversible? Is it absolutely irreversible in some cases? In some cases, yes. That's why some people that have strokes have to walk with a stick all their life right and have to drag some part of their limbs their lower limbs their legs mm. along yes in some cases but in other cases um they they they, they could revive i mean the the um tissues of the body the mm -hmm. muscle parts mm -hmm. there is really no hard and fast rule about it mm. yes mm -hmm. yes but in her case she said she had it and it's um, continued the facial paralysis. I'm guessing that the other body parts that were affected in the stroke, because the stroke would affect like half. Right. It transverse half of the body, sagittal section, one side, like okay. the right or the left. Okay. Yes. But I'm guessing the other limbs and other parts of her body were, were okay, uh -huh. but the face had that deficit, like right. I, I spoke about. Yes. So that's what happened. And I'm sure she was trying to work on it, trying to do some exercises, physiotherapy, and what have you. Mm. And, but, but aside from the disfiguration of the face, mm -hmm. are there accompanying things that happen when you have that facial palsy, maybe like headaches or pains, or it's just the no, no, disfiguration? Mo mostly is the muzzle bundles, and the mu muzzle bundles is like when you facial expression, okay, chewing, uh -huh. all those things, you need muscles to do oh, all those activities. Okay. So that's where she's going to have some... Um, challenges. differential challenges mm. compared to the other side of her face. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. so you can't smile all right. Right. You can't eat all right. You, okay. you, your, your face, people just could start, you know, yes, yes. making fun of you mm. and things like that. And your problem announces you. It's like oh, yeah. everyone that sees you knows oh, yeah, know that, that there's you a problem. Through. One side is, okay, you know, she probably suffered stronger a stroke. than the other she side. She probably, oh, yeah, you know, oh, so yeah. it's like uh, you announce your problem or your problem just announces itself yeah, once you, you show up. up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So God healed that and oh, reversed yes. that oh, by yes. a word 
when she Just was on the altar of fire. And, that, and I mean, and look at her it. face. is completely back to normal. You can't even, you no, will you not even tell. know. You can't tell. You, you can't tell. Even know. And so that's God. the first testimony. That's her first testimony. Before we even went to the eye. Aha, aha, aha. That was appetizer. Now we're, we've gotten to the eye. Main meal, right? The main cause. She said she had branch retinal artery occlusion and yes. a macular edema. Now we're lost. Okay. Put us through. The back of the eye. Uh -huh. At the back of the eye, that's the fundus. That's okay. the back of the eye. Okay. It has vessels. That is blood vessels. We have the arteries and veins okay. that thin out and become smaller, get into capillaries, and you have what you call arterioles and venous. Those are smaller arteries and smaller veins. Okay. Now, the main supply, the main blood supply from to the eye, to the retina, comes mm -hmm. from one of these arteries. Okay. So she had a branch retinal artery occlusion. Okay. Meaning that one of the major branches of the central retinal artery mm -hmm. was blocked, was okay. occluded. Either occluded by a thrombus, that is clotted blood, blood. Or mm -hmm. emboli, something foreign, you know, that just goes and blocks mm -hmm. the passage of that blood to that part. It's supplying a particular part of mm. the retina. So what you see when you look at such eyes, you just see a pale retina. It's white. Mm. Yes. It's white. There. It's not getting any blood. And by the time you know it, such retina just become unvascularized and most times if it's not resolved, the person can even go blind for Wow. That. Yes. And again, she also had macula edema. edema right that is swelling okay. the macula is the sharpest point of vision okay. in the retina in the eye is the sharpest point of vision in the eye and whatever happens to the macula more often than not the person comes down with a central reduction in vision in their central vision or even blindness because that is where all the light rays converge and just like a film the retina is like a film you try to get an image with a camera and you catch your image on the film. And the sharpest point of that filming, the sharpest point is on the macula. So if anything happens to the macula, there are many problems in the macula. Wow. If anything happens on the macula, most times the person's central vision is affected. The person cannot see. The person cannot read. The person cannot drive. The person wow. cannot do a lot of things right. whenever the macula is involved. So just in this case, macular degeneration happens sometimes mostly as a result of age. It's called age-related macular degeneration. Right, right. So, you know, our first testifier, she testified about a macular edema. Yeah. And then, no, the first testifier testified about macular, macular degeneration. degeneration. Yes. And then and the this, second this testifier one now is testified about a macular, macular edema. edema. Okay. So let us so, go to so macular... Put us through. Let's go to macular edema. So if you look at the picture on the screen... Right. Edema is like swelling. You can find, you can see that the macula uh -huh. is swollen. Okay. And it's normally a complication you find in diabetic patients. Oh, wow. When somebody has diabetic eye disease, diabetic retinopathy, okay. there's a lot of tiny blood vessels okay. that are not um, mature enough. Okay. And because these blood vessels are just coming up because they can't get oxygen, so they just have this anti vegf coming just make blood vessels. You find out that they are not mature enough and they leak out fluid from that blood vessel. Wow. So when the fluid comes out, it enters the macula and swells up the macula. Wow. And like I told you before, anything that affects the macula, the person comes down with central reduction in vision or even wow. blindness. Wow. So she had a lot. I mean, there was already branch retinal artery occlusion yes. in the eye. And then a complication of diabetic retinopathy again, macular edema, and it really doesn't have a cure. Hmm. You just keep giving intravitreal injections. She said she had 24, 24. injections oh, in yes. the eye. And these injections are very, very costly. Wow. And you keep repeating them sometimes every, year, every month, sometimes what? every six weeks. You go in, you get an injection into your eye, into the vitreous cavity. That's where they put in the injection. 24. 24, yeah. You keep, you keep just repeating. You keep going and going and going. And in Nigeria, we, don't, we do like six. And that's for the people that really can afford it because the injection is very, very costly. And it doesn't cure it. It just kind of tries to put the vessels aright. And after a while, because it's reversible, we go back to where we came from. Wow. 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 So wow. It's, it's a lot. And mind you, the eye, there is no much vision in the eye with right. all that. Yeah, with all that. So it's, it's a lot. 
any macular issues are they are big deal they are really big deal it's not like something you would just say we'll do this it goes and you're fine yes no, we can't we don't have that confidence wow so it's a god affair wow just like in her case god just you know decided to just decide to just do it for her glory to yeah. god because i don't think anything would have you know she just said let her go let her go and see the doctor has been prayed for she believed this she picked it up and listen she said somebody gave a testimony like that aha, and she just grabbed jumped it. on it i trust my nspd aha aha it's when they've not heard it <laughs> let them hear it unless first. they've not heard it let we're, them hear we're it first. expert grabbers <laughs> expert grabbers <laughs> glory to we just add it to our own situation yes, immediately yes 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 you know yes, so yes. and she just went she was she said she was smiling she was believing and uh -huh. all and as God will have it, the same doctor that saw all those things mm. has at turned review, around. Said, ah, ah, all these things are not here again. Irreversible. And I know it's only God that could have only done God it. And I'm could sure even that this. doctor knows that it's only God. That yes, could yes, yes, absolutely. And then, of course, we have our other testifier. She talks about macular degeneration. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming that this is an age related condition. Oh, yes. It's actually age related maculopathy or age related macular degeneration. That's the theme. Now, that happens in most people as we get older. Okay. Some people are predisposed to having macular degeneration. Now, that macula, you know, in the first case, fluid was getting in right, and fluid. made it uh -huh. to have edema. Uh -huh. Now, that macula starts to degenerate. It starts to become not as good as it should be okay. for the want of English. Yes, yes, okay? yes. It, becomes, it starts degenerating. Okay. And there are two types. Okay. Right. We have the dry type and the wet type. Okay. The dry type of degeneration, just as the, as the uh, macula is degenerating, it leaves what we call drusen, some deposits. Okay. It's actually easier to manage. Okay. And most times those people don't have as much um, reduction in vision as compared to the wet macular degeneration, which is what she testified about. Okay. That one really doesn't have any cure. Wow. The wet one, why? Because it's wet. It now involves edema. Fluid also tricks, trickles out again into the macula. The macula is degenerating and fluid is percolating under it. Hmm. They, you also could do surgeries, but even with the surgeries, it's, it's not even a 50-50. Yes, I, because I was coming to that. I want to say with all the advancements in medicine oh, yeah. and in science, God you're saying just... there's no remedy for macular for degeneration. Wet macular for degeneration. wet macular yes. degeneration. Because that one, there is new vascularization. There are new vessels. We, right. don't, like, we don't like new vessels in ophthalmology. Okay. We don't like it in the retina. Whenever there are new vessels, these vessels are not um, well-formed. Okay. They are friable. They can bleed easily. They just keep bleeding. So, I mean, the eye is trying to help itself by... We're not getting oxygen, okay. And geogenic factors just make vessels so that blood can come. Mm -hmm. But because it's fast, it's not well done. Okay. And because of that, the same blood that you want to get there doesn't get to the eye where you need it. It wow. keeps leaking out. It keeps making the whole retina sucked up. Right. And everywhere is wet. So that's what happens in the wet one. And it's actually very difficult to treat. Uh, Most times, vision loss is common compared to the dry. Right. And from what she said, is that wet one that the husband had. And yes. they've been on it for a while, mm. doing all they can. That's the good part. You know, you do your part as a medical. Because, I mean, if you're at home and you don't come up, we don't even know what you have. Right. So the doctor has a place. We have to say, this is exactly what the problem is. Uh -huh. And it's good that the doctor says it because when God does it, the same doctor will say, right. okay, this is what it was before, Absolutely. but now it's no longer there. Hallelujah. Uh, of course. So, Which is what happened. Yes, this, this is exactly what happened. Right. This is what happened here. So I'm so excited about this man. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I mean, the difference is clear. Oh, yeah. he, he had degenerated to the point that he couldn't see, he couldn't drive, he, he couldn't, couldn't function. Do anything. He couldn't see anything. Ah, I read someplace that it's one of the leading causes of vision oh, blindness, loss. blindness, yes. Mm. Permanent, re irreversible vision loss. My yes. goodness, my yes. goodness. Age-related macular degeneration. Yes, it is. There. And so that is the point that he was at. And she joined the altar of fire. And that same month... That's that she month. joined oh the God. altar of fire. She said, this God, God I've beautiful. seen what you're doing. Oh my I've God. heard the testimonies. Oh my Put God. my word in the mouth of your servant. 
and how and as you would have it, Makula God did it. Degeneration. God put that word hey. inside Papa's mouth, glory, and out of his mouth came it. Glory, <laughs> glory, and immediately God sent His word and He healed oh their God. disease and oh delivered God. them it's, from destruction. It's so heartwarming. Makula degeneration Makula reversed. Edema. Makula edema reversed. reversed. Branch retinal artery occlusion reversed. reversed. Now you're waiting for me. I'm waiting for you to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, Hallelujah. Know, these are huge testimonies. No, they are. Like I told you, that's why I decided to, you know, just get into eye and vision. Oh. Just imagine somebody living without sight. Mm. It's not a good place to be. No, it's you not. You don't have a good quality of life. Some no people way. just want to die. If mm. they can't see, they say there is no need. Let's just cuckoo Let's just call it a meter, day. You know? Right. So, but when these things happen, and I mean macular issues that are... Irreversible vision losses, and then this is happening. Hey. Person is seeing like a newborn baby. My you now goodness. have new eyes. That's what it looks like. This is so profound. Oh, these Jesus. testimonies are so profound. Be well, the degeneration, be the edema. You know, we hear these testimonies and they just fly over our heads because oh we can't appreciate understand them really. It, yeah. We don't understand it, yeah. we don't appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. But I mean, this has been so insightful. God is amazing. He is. And truly, truly what truly. he cannot do does not does exist. Not exist. Oh, yes. Phenomenal oh, yes. Oh, yes. testimonies. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now we have a third testimony, and it is coming all the way from Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. It is from our brother, Mr. Obina, and he's testifying of a demonic affliction, an eight year long demonic affliction reversed. Wow. We'll Hallelujah. be right back. My name is Obina Ijime. I am sending this video from the Czech Republic. It all started uh, way back in 2015, November 2015 to be precise. I was afflicted uh, by the enemies with uh, mouth sores. You know, when I say mouth sores, some people say, what is actually mouth sore? But this mouth sore was very, very bad. That The whole of my mouth was decayed. The whole of my mouth was bringing up pores and blood. During this period, I started going to hospitals. I went to... Um, some private hospitals and government hospitals, including the uh, Igondo General Hospital in Lagos, including the uh, Navy Town Reference Hospital in Lagos. All these hospitals, they did different tests. None of them was able to diagnose what was wrong with me. And some of them is even did biopsy in case of uh, any kind of, uh, you know, disease and all that. None of them was able to diagnose what was wrong with me. And that was when I started, you know, started thinking that this thing was not actually an ordinary thing. So I said to like think back and know how the mouth sore was already starting, what always happened before it started. And that was when I started, you know, to understand that any time I had a dream and I ate in the dream, two days after that, my mouth would begin to swell up. The whole of my mouth would begin to bring out pores and blood. The mouth sore would become very, very bad. So when I noticed that that was, you know, actually wrong, uh, but that was actually the, the, the oldest the beginning of the mouth sore. So in, uh, I started looking for solution elsewhere other than you know uh, the medical uh, field, the medical background. And while I was actually using these medical facilities, I spent so much. That was when I had to you know, leave my former job just because I was being stigmatized. They were, uh, you know, my former office they were saying that this was sickness, don't start again. This was, so it was more like a mockery of me. And I couldn't take it, so I had to leave my former job. Then when I left the job, a few months after then, I was able to get another job. Shockingly, I was uh, asked to leave the new job that I got in less than one month on health ground. And I became almost depressed, you know, at, uh, at this young age, being asked to leave a job, being asked to go, to, 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 to being dismissed because of health ground. The whole of 2017, I started going to churches, going to all the churches that you know in Nigeria, the baby churches. I started going for their programs to look for, you know, a uh, solution to my case. And this... Mouth saw the thing happen from 2015 to 2024. I was going to different places. And in 2023, I left the country, I left Nigeria, and in 2024, I came. I, I came across a NSPPD program. I started uh, following NSPPD, NSPPD program. That was early March 15th when I started uh, following NSPPD program here, and I continued following it on a daily basis. Till May 15th, when I say May 15th, that was when Pastor Jerry, God used him 
to mention my case. He said there was, you know, somebody, I mean, there's somebody that uh, not that you had any accident, but uh, you just keep having this mood repeatedly, and this was not, uh, you said it was not a, a another thing to the spiritual attack. Without any external thing, your body is developing wounds. You don't know what is going on. You are going from hospital to hospital. The devil is a liar. For this one is a witchcraft attack. If you are the one putting on the live stream, by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I am house. Let it be reversed. From there, I just jumped up and said, God, thank you for using your servant, Pastor Jerry, which is crazy, to mention my case. Now my case has been um, my case has been settled. My God has answered my prayer. And uh, since then, up to now, I have not had a dream where I ate in the dream and where, you know, sores begin to come out from my, from, from my body. I want to thank God for his servant, Pastor Jerry Richard Gwezi, for, you know, allowing God to use you at this time in this direction. And I want to thank God for, you know, for being a very, very formidable voice in this generation, in this our time. I want to say thank you, sir. God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh. oh, glory to God. Where do we start to? Oh? Ah. Ah. Mm. Strange oh. affliction. Eight year long. Eight year long. Jumping from country to country. Medication to medication. Hospital church to, to church, hospital, church. Hospital to church. Hospital to church. hospital. I mean. No solution. Oh my God. Mouth sores. I've never seen anything this horrible yeah. with regards to mouth sores. Have you seen anything in the line of practice? Well, I've seen mouth sores, but I've, I've not seen something this... It's, it's really gory. And the important thing is um, there are people that have mouth sores, maybe people who are immunocompromised. Right. People who have, like, uh, who, who are retroviral positive, people with HIV AIDS, you know, mm. people who don't have so much white blood cells that are supposed to kind of defend their bodies and all. Okay. Yeah, so that's where you see. But even at that, it's not like this. Right. And more importantly, or more instructively, he said he went to different hospitals. He went to different places. Like, uh -huh. he, he was even mentioning all the hospitals. And I right. mean... Good hospitals. Good hospitals. Solid hospitals. Even and, out of this country. And they were not even able to actually pinpoint this is what the problem is. Right. Because, I mean, you need to diagnose what the problem is. Like I said, that's why we have doctors. That's where doctors come uh -huh. from. But in uh -huh. this case, it could not even, <laughs> it could not even uh -huh. like say, this is what the problem is. Right. And this is how we are going to solve it. Mm. So, and I think this is a clear example of an arrow, of yes. a spiritual attack. Because, yes. I mean, that's a spiritual attack. Yes. It's not physical. It's, it's not a, medical. It's a, it's a strange affliction. Oh, yes. Rightly captured. It's an affliction. Rightly captured. From the evil one. Mm, mm. And you know like that's Papa what the said. devil does. Yes. So it's not about, um, is I mouth ulcer, at mm, first mm. ulcer, you mm, know, mm. you know, forget all those jargon. Eight years. It doesn't follow And it's been so long. Eight years, over eight years. He gets years. a job, they tell him, get out. Stigma. You know. So, on medical I mean, grounds, we're dismissing you. A yes, young man a young, on medical a grounds. A young man. I mean, I don't even, I don't know. This devil is just, he's just a bastard. He's hey, so wicked. I don't yes, know. Yes, yes, yes. You just decide to just come and just deal with somebody right. in such a manner. You know, you know, strange afflictions are real. Oh this, is, this was rightly captioned as a strange affliction. Oh, yeah. And um, it has been an age-long pattern is an age-long scheme of the devil. I mm. call them, um, you know, glory stealers. That's what yes. strange afflictions are. In fact, I'm because annoyed right The now. devil just keeps you busy. Ah, yeah. Keeps you busy. You just fighting, keep running around. Just running around in endless circles. Oh, my God. Fighting something you know, that, you know, He said he no spent cure. all his money in right. the hospital. Mm. Then it became clear to him that it was, it was like a spiritual attack. Mm. Then he, he didn't stop there. He now started going to different you know, churches and everything. Yes. And we're talking about from 2015 right. to 2024, 2023. Aha. Uh -huh. Ha, Jesus. Uh -huh. You know, it reminds me of the woman with the issue of People blood. People are really in The Bible will say that she suffered many things oh in the God. hands of different physicians. Physicians. Right. And wasn't getting and better. And wasn't getting better. She was getting worse. And that's what afflictions do. You know, they constitute poverty till, yeah. till the devil brings you to complete destruction. Complete. You've lost your you know, job. You've lost You've money. lost money, you've lost Stigma. your, your, you can't your, progress your, you know, life. your ego, nothing, mm. nothing. You, ju you just are not living for nothing at all. You mm. don't even have any quality of life to right. start with. Right, right, right. It's, it's, but I thank God. But I thank God. You know, 
<laughs> for the altar but God, of fire. You know, but, but, but God, you know, but God. Right, right, right. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, I'm reminded of, um, because many people don't understand how the devil operates. And I'm reminded of um, the woman in the Bible who was bent over. The Bible would say she was bent over for many years for many because years. of a spirit of infirmity, infirmity. A spirit. had bent her over. A spirit. a spirit had bent her over. I mean, what antibiotic, what medical treatment can relieve Nothing. one of that? Zero. None. Nothing. None whatsoever. Nothing. You know, the Bible would also say that, you know, Job... Um, Satan left the presence of God and decided to, you know, smote Job with boils from the yes. crown of his head to the, to the soles of, of his, his feet. feet. What antibiotic? I mean, in Job's time, he would have been taking antibiotics for years upon years with yes, no relief. and herbs and everything and, and, and everything. all sorts of things. And with you no don't relief. know that it's just the devil at it's the corner. It's the devil just doing at his the thing. Core, at the core, at the center of it. And so, obviously, he was huh. on the altar of fire. Huh. And then a word came. Huh. And then a word came. Huh. And that was the <laughs> end of an eight year and you know, long. Papa affliction. just saw through it and like this is not the medical thing. No way. This is not the medical no thing. Way. This, is, this is an arrow. Yes. You know, from the evil one. Hmm. And as he said it and cancelled it, everything just came to a screeching halt. Woo! Glory this to far God. And no further. Glory to God. And the young man is free. He's free. He's huh. free. Thanks you be know, to God. You the know. Bible will say, is anyone afflicted among you? Let pray. him pray. Pray. Let him pray. So prayer still remains the remedy for, for this afflictions. afflictions this but many times we don't want to pray. Yeah. We want to run around. And if you're not careful, you'll fall into the wrong hands. Oh, yes. People that would want to take oh, advantage yes. of your it could situation. Even, it could even get worse. Right, oh, yeah. right. So yes. is anyone afflicted? Let him pray. pray. And his healing, his deliverance came by prayer. When At he connected the on the altar of fire, oh God. God broke those chains. After eight years, he's free to live his life. To God alone be all Hallelujah. the glory. God. All the glory. What he huh. cannot reverse does, does not, do. not hmm. exist. exist. Many, many, you know many they. are you know the they. afflictions of the righteous, but, but the Lord. The Lord. But, but the Lord, the Lord but delivers the Lord. him from them all. Yeah. Wow, what a phenomenal testimony of deliverance, of healing, of reversal, of turnaround. What our God cannot do Truly does, does not, not exist. exist. Oh, yeah. Ah, we have two final testimonies. We have a testimony from Mrs. Oyes and her daughter testifying from Delta State, Nigeria. Cancer of the womb reversed. Our final testimony comes from Sister Carol, testifying from Canada, stage four breast cancer <laughs> with brain metastasis Jesus. reversed. Profound testimonies. We'll be right back. I'm Mrs. Oyes from Delta State, Worry. I've been nowhere before. I don't walk out of the hospital, where they for worry to the end. No way. I can't go UBTH. I say UBTH two weeks. No way. They can't, they can't direct me to Lagos for loot. Say now then I go fit, go for this cancer problem. When I reach loot, they can't give me, they can't, I pay finish, they can't say, okay, man, I go do scan. I can't go do the scan. Say me there for no as it is, don't go rich. Blood, they rush me. Blood, where they rush me from, where they go? I have a small blood. Two buckets self they left for that blood safe. Two big buckets they left. That blood, when I they bleed, I'm not that blood that gave my children, they give a buy blood for me. Five pounds with five, they go buy. Just now, go rush down. They go buy five again, they go rush down. My daughter in law, I come put me for this uh, platform. Me with my daughter, my last girl, call it a side. I say, I better put her for me. I say, now, I don't see. The person will go feel this my body because I don't know what to do again. Now that I got the for me, and I don't want that. So now we start the prayer. We can't enter the prayer. The blood they pop for inside Lagos when I do. Now I call I call the pray for my mind. I say, God, put this my case a passenger remark for me. Now I beg. I don't want that you I beg. Put this your put this uh, case for inside a mat now. On the twentieth of February, night Pastor Jerry they pray. We did inside the prayer get it back for them. Now they pray, say cancer of the, the womb. Revise. Cancer of the womb, cancer of the womb. If you are the one, put it on the live stream. Let it be reverse. Let it be reverse. I say, hey, I jump up, I say God. 
You don't put this thing for Pastor Jerry Mad for me. I don't you be that. True, true. Now, so this blood will reverse. Water, everything. God reverse come off my body. Now, the blood is stopped, stopped it to this soon. Now, they say, I can't go to the hospital. I tell them, say, I beg. Before they even they treat me, this blood don't even stop. Now, I can't go meet them. I say, I beg. I say, Pastor Jerry, they say, he, God don't heal me. I beg. I won't go back to my house. They say, no. He said, I must go another machine again. Now, I can't go enter the machine. If you see the machine, say, not be smart. I enter the machine, no. Now I come at a car reserve go meet and say, Mama, congratulations. We not see because me with my people one. Because you said we uh, saw before, before they will not see it again. It again. Now me with my people one and I say what you pass a jelly talk soon. Say what you they see before they not go see and make it true to call out at the hospital. Now we call free for we call free. And they result the be this. So I can't go. When I come back for the team, I pass a uh, doctor call tell me say, Madam, congratulations. Your body will not say anything again. Congratulations. You have been healed. We have been healed. And when you reach the hospital, Pastor Jerry, what do you your God do for me? Not be smart, you know. Today, I thank God for everything you do for me. Pastor Jerry, I thank you personally for what you do for the whole world. They save the whole world. You know, cancer went everywhere. Mm. Hospital full. Oh. If you reach the hospital, cripple, so I eye, hold the sonna throat, you hold But me now, I don't survive myself. And when I go to the hospital, I want to tell them, say, may they join this Pastor Jerry. I give many people this uh, line. Will they pray? Will they show? What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Pastor Jerry, this is Carol from Canada, here to give God all the glory and honor and to give him praise. As you see me, I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2018, and that was stage two. When the doctors told me about chemo, I was against chemo. I've had lots of family members uh, suffer from cancer and they don't survive it. So I was against chemo. Unfortunately, the cancer became aggressive. It spread to the lungs, to the liver, to the hip bone and sternum bone. And now it became stage four because it had advanced. I was left with no option but to use chemo. Unfortunately, the chemo collapsed my lungs. I had to be kept in hospital for a while until the, the whole gaps in the lungs closed. To cut the story short, when I was discharged to come home, I prayed to God to take me home. I left hospital. And during that time, a friend of my twin sister told about NSPPD and we joined NSPPD in 2021. The same year I left hospital because I was uh, hospitalized in 2019. So in 2021, when I left hospital, lucky enough, as we had just joined NSPPD that time around, Pastor Gary mentioned my case. Anyone with breast um, cancer, Receive your healing. And the Lord is showing special mercy uh, and grace uh, uh, on people with breast cancer. Uh, Anyone under the sound of my voice uh, with breast cancer by the power uh, that is Jesus uh, from the dead. Uh, I command uh, breast cancer disappear. I keyed in into that prophecy. During that time, the doctors took me in follow up three months after the cancer had disappeared. Now, as Pastor always tells us, don't take long to give your testimony. I took long because I was waiting for another testimony that I put everything together. The cancer came back in the brain because it took two years. So by 2024, earlier this year, the cancer had come back in the brain. I promised to give my testimony on time. I asked God to give me another chance. Pastor Gary mentioned my case brain cancer because the cancer had spread to the brain. Cancer of the brain! Cancer of the brain! I announce let it be reversed! Let it be reversed! And end of April I went for follow-up because they follow up with you every three months, the doctors. And they discovered that the tumors were gone. I screamed, I thank God, and I promised him that I'll come back and give a testimony on time. Here I am, I came to give a testimony and to give God all the glory and honor, to give him praise. Thank you, Pastor, Pastor Gary, for teaching us how to pray, believing in God and trusting him. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. God bless you, Pastor Gary. Hey! Ah. Hey! Hey! Jesus Christ. Thank you, hey. Lord. 
Ha! Hey! So, I don't even, I just have goosebumps oh. all over me. I don't even know where to start, you know. Oh, wow. God hey, is Jesus. good. Hey! Ha. Wow. Wow. Hey. This is huge. Huge testimony. I don't even know where to begin, but I think I'll start by saying I don't know. Hmm. I mean, just looking at that woman, it's obvious and evident that she oh, has yes. been through it. She has been through she hell. She has been through hell and, and back. back. Mm. Yeah. Glory to God. Huh. And I don't know what has been happening on NSPPDs. Like, there's been a special grace poured out oh, for the reversal of cancers all through the month of May. And even up until now, I mean, the cancer Very testimonies. Very recalcitrant cancers. Cancers that go and come back and come back again, right, you know. Right, we're, we're, we're hearing all types, all forms of cancers. Myoma, sarcoma, just on every day we're Leo hearing sarcoma. two, three, all, 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 all cocktails and combinations yes. of, 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 of cancer, cancer reversals. Cancer of the mega it's like, colon, it's like God everything is, is, is just... running a cancer healing promo in I heaven. I don't know. Right, right. This is And amazing. you know, the franchise is with uh, the prayer or the fire or right, right. the <laughs> the fire altar just join i mean it doesn't matter what it's stage whether you're dear, in stage four stage one stage whether four whatever care, whatever care, just join just join there's just a promo in this season there's a promo in this season this is amazing it's surreal it is it's amazing i think last week or two weeks ago we had um someone in um, palliative care wow testify and he, he was given six months healing. to leave. Yeah, so he six was already setting leave. up his family. Right. And then he came back with a clean bill of health. Ah. Now we're seeing And they someone. rang the bell for him, cancer right. free. Right, cancer free. Ah, cancer Jesus. Free. All the way in India, declared cancer free. Oh, my God. And today we're seeing someone stage four metastasize to the brain. To the brain. To the brain. Just looking at her, you just know. You, know, you don't need to think too far. You don't need to go far. Just looking at her. You would know that. I mean, she stayed, she said 2019 or 2018 to 2021. Did I hear that rightly? Oh, yes. Three-year-long three hospital stay. Yes, in the in hospital. In the hospital for yeah. three years. Along the line, her lungs collapsed. Yes, if I remember she said well. that. She said so that. So that's chemo for you. you know? Wow. Chemo is just... Brutal. <laughs> yes, that's the word. Very brutal. It's poison. As it's poisoning and killing the cancer cells, it also has the propensity to kill good cells. So wow. that's why you space it out. That's why it's done in cycles, you know. After some time, you allow the, the cells to regenerate and get back to, then you go again like that. Wow. And I mean, it's, 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 and she said she got well, she got better. She got better. God perfected her healing, healing. on NSPPD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that she didn't give her testimony on mm. time. I think this is also a good place to pause and ponder. Mm. Absolutely. A lot of people that have testimonies and want to just Sitting keep it to it. themselves. Right. I mean, when you needed help, you didn't mind. You were at the altar, you were talking to God, we were praying with you, we were shouting amen. Because, I mean, mm -hmm. we are all shouting amen, right. whether it's our case or Absolutely. not our case. Like Absolutely. I said. NSPPDians, you need to meet us. Uh -huh. we, are very, we, are, we are a special breed. We, <laughs> we are wonderful people. <laughs> so we are just shouting amen. And I mean, you got your healing. You know, I'm reminded of something uh, Papa once said. Um, gratitude has an attitude. Oh, yeah. It's not enough to Definitely. say, oh, God, I'm grateful yeah. for my healing. You have to have that posture. In my heart, I'm grateful. And uh, really and truly, you are you, grateful, grateful in your heart. In your heart. Hearts. You're grateful right. in your heart of hearts. But there's a posture. Yeah. There's a posture that shows that you're grateful. Yeah. And one of such postures is it's sharing your testimony. Testifying. testifying to the goodness of God. And you see what the testimony does else. to right. others. It, you it, saw the other one. Right. She said, she wasn't getting her testimony until somebody that had a similar right in the eye one of the eye testimony yes had a similar case she just she said heard it and she, she said boom. what she grabbed it yes so this is testimony yes for you. you know so, sometimes by sitting on your testimony you don't know how many people you've denied you've denied their own testimony you've denied exactly. them of their exactly. testimonies exactly by saying you know i'm shy i'm I just shy want i to don't sit want to yes. i don't you know but but when you were <laughs> you were looking for healing you are not shy. right right this is definitely <laughs> Uh, like you said, pause and ponder. We, we need to pause and ponder. We need to pause and ponder. Before, before we continue. Right, okay? right, right. Yeah. If God has done it for you, and I, I, it's, it's only right that you talk about it. That's the least you, you can that, do. That's the least you can do that's for another person. That's the least you can do, really. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And so she didn't share her testimony like she said, and um, cancer came back. And this time it didn't come back just in the breast now. <laughs> it came back... To the headquarters, to the brain, to the HQ, to the brain. 
Wow, brain cancer is extremely aggressive. I have a question though. Cancer metastasizes through the blood, yeah. right? Yeah, through the blood, through the lymph. Okay. Through different ways, yeah. Okay. It can go through the blood. It can even go contiguously. That is just like as it's growing from one organ, some of the um, cancer seedlings, some of uh -huh. the cancer cells get to the next organ. Right. So it can go. That's why it's cancer. Right. You can't, you can't really define and say this is how it will happen. This is right. how it happens. That's, but having said that, there are some particular sites uh -huh. that some particular cancers are known to metastasize. Okay. Up to. Do you okay. understand? Okay. Like the breast most times is the lungs. Okay. Actually, it's closed, so you Those can understand. Sites. You can, I can understand, understand that, that. Yeah. right? But there are also others that could be so far away, right? So far away. Okay, just look at this from the breast to all the, the way brain. to the brain. I'm wondering how did it bypass the throat and all every other thing to, <laughs> to get the to brain. the brain? To the brain. So, and um, brain cancers are, are are just extra. I'm hmm. talking. I'm talking from personal experience. You know, uh, one of my family members have gone through it and even passed through oh, it so goodness. it's not something it's not where you want to be hmm. it isn't okay so for her to have had that kind of metastasis that means it was a stage four all over again right back to where she started from ah. and just look at her you know and she just said god just give me another chance give and this time i won't chance. bungle it hmm. you know and god being so full of mercy being ah. so rich in mercy hmm. you know still the word came she picked it on the altar, mm -hmm. and the word went in and cured the cancer. That's Glory the only, that's the only way I can say it. I don't know how else to explain it. You know, like in the Bible where the person that wasn't talking, that couldn't speak, the deaf mute, you know, Jesus healed him and said, don't tell anybody. Mm -mm. <laughs> they say, we know this man before. Mm. Whether we tell or we don't tell, mm. we know the man before. You know, and now we know he's speaking and hearing and uh -huh, talking. Uh -huh. So whether he tells or he doesn't tell, I mean, it's happened and the testimony is glaring. It's yes, wonderful. Yes, it's marvelous yes, yes. in our sight. Glory. And I think that's exactly what happened here. Ha, God of mercy. God of mercy. We see also our mama and her daughter. Oh, my God. Cancer oh, my womb. God. But God is wonderful. You know, God NSPP, is that's, wonderful. this is the beauty of NSPP. Right. You know, you get to get, you get to see all variants. Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. you can claim and say, Mama is not well read. She's mm -hmm. not letter. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Mm -hmm. She's speaking her pidgin English. Uh -huh. But what I loved about her, she had this childlike, childlike, childlike faith. faith. She was like, Childlike. Uh, Pastor Jerry Uchechuko, uh, 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 <laughs> has prayed for me. You, and I'm sure the thing has gone. Yes. And you know, from Such her innocence. mouth to, to from Such her innocence. from her mouth to God's ah. ears. Just like that. Hey. This is somebody that has endometrial cancer. Hmm. You heard what she was saying about blood. I right. mean she was bleeding away. She was Over five literally times a day. bleeding her life away. You My know, goodness. life is in the blood. Then imagine it's just like the woman of the issue of blood. Right. She was just bleeding. And that's what happens in womb cancer, hey. cervical cancers. As the cancer cells just erode through the tissues, and you know blood vessels, like we spoke about in the eye, the mm. arteries and veins, they are intertwined in these tissues. Mm -hmm. So whenever they erode and get into any blood vessel, you have opened the pipe that is mm. carrying the blood. So what next? Start bleeding. Oh, goodness. And imagine that in many parts ah. of the womb. So different spots, she's just bleeding, licking away, licking blood here, uh, here and there. Ah. That's why sometimes she, she says she took up to five units of blood. A day. In a day. She said more than and that. And the more she's taking, the more she's it's losing. pouring out. You know? Ah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just thank God that I'm ah. living in this time where cancer is being messed up. Ah, cancer is being messed you up. You know, I just thank God that this, I, I mean, I'm living in these times. Right. It's a wonderful time to right. be alive. You know, I think NSPPD has showed us just the prevalence of cancer. Oh, yeah. We didn't know, oh, well, I didn't know that so many you people didn't know. <laughs> were dealing with cancer. A lot. Mama said if you go to the hospital, uh, cancer, for hold everywhere. them for somewhere, hold them for eye, no, hold them for here. You, you know, so, so many people are dealing with oh, yeah. cancer. Oh, yeah. And NSPPD has shown us that cancer is not something to be scared of yes. anymore. It can be conquered. It can be conquered. Just being, just by I, your word. I think every day, these days now, every, every day, day there's a testimony of not cancer. Not even one, multiple. You know, I'm just like, on the average, every day there is a testimony of right, cancer. So right. what's what that showing us? Mm. And then come back to that, that, we are back to that testimony of, you know, 
speaking and speaking out, testifying, witnessing to what God has done. Right. I mean, when people hear, faith comes by hearing uh -huh. and hearing the word of God. Yes. When you hear that somebody that had stage four breast cancer that has metastasized to the brain. Hey. You know, when there's metastasis to the brain, it's like, okay, fine, just go put your house together. You know, right. That's, that's it, you know. Right. But now... The woman is healed Glory. by the same people, Lou. Glory. This is our brother. This is in Canada. Thank you, Lord. This is not Nigeria. I'm Thank talking of the Lord. first testimony, you know, and it's everywhere. It's not happening. Only, it's not happening only in abroad. Mm -mm. It's happening in Nigeria. Right here. It's happening. Right here. It's happening everywhere. everywhere. Among the young, everybody in the old, is feeling everyone. the wind, the waves, Glory the to God. whatever, the tsunami of yes. God's power, mm. you know, out and against cancer. Hmm. I don't even know what to say. Maybe this is a good time to just, I don't know. God don't know. is working wonders oh my. on NSP. Oh my God. He is working wonders in our midst. Oh gosh. Stage four cancer metastasized to, to the, the brain. brain. To the brain. Hey. <laughs> Ah, God is good. All the time. All oh, the time. thank you, all Lord. The time. Thank all you, the time. Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm short for words, really. I don't even know what to say. I can't say anything. God again. is amazing. God Lord. is... Uh, words are not enough. Oh, words yeah. are not enough. Really, really and, and truly. truly. <laughs> words are not enough. Wow. What our God cannot do. Does not exist. What have we heard today? I, I, I really don't know what we've heard today. Just wonder after wonder. Macula degeneration reverse. This is an irreversible condition. condition. And God reversed it right here by one word. Oh my goodness. We had another testimony from Mama Nelly. Right-sided facial palsy. Branch retinal artery occlusion. Macula edema reverse. Yet again, again 24 again. injections in her eye. <laughs> you haven't forgotten. That's like, I can't ah, forget ah, such ah, a thing. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> that cycle, God has put it to an end and has a brought end. a lasting solution. Oh, hallelujah. God is amazing. We had another testimony demonic affliction, a mouthful of sores for eight long years. Hmm. Strange affliction, had him jumping hospital to hospital, doctor to doctor, until he came to the altar of fire. God spoke a word and rolled away that endless cycle of negativity. Wow. We had a fourth testimony from Mama, cancer of the womb reverse. She said, now only deaths remain, no? Now only deaths remain. Chai. And God brought her from that point to the point that she's standing with Father, a medical bill you. of health, a clean, clean bill, clean bill of health, saying she is cancer free. free. We have a final testimony: cancer, cancer, breast cancer came back, fortified itself, and mm. spread right into her brain. But God, 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 but God, God of mercy, God, God of the altar of fire. It's never too late. My it's never too late for a hey. turnaround. It's never too late for a breakthrough. It's never too late for a reversal. God showed up right on time and has reversed cancer once and for all. To him alone be all the glory. And Hallelujah. that's why we say what God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Such powerful testimonies we've heard today. <sighs> Dr. Choma, such powerful testimonies. Mm. You know, we sit on this chair and, well, I sit on this chair weekly and you think you've heard the best of God. You think you've seen the greatest. And then, and then the next week up. comes by and then you're blown away the ante. all over again. God <laughs> is amazing. I'm actually short of words, you know. Mm. As in, at a point, I just became emotional and I just had to hold it in. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Mm. It's surreal. Like I said, I said it before. I, I we're living in beautiful times, we are, mm. and I thank God that I'm, you know, alive at this time. Mm. NSPPD talking as a medical person. NSPPD has kind of just come and just upturned everything, you know, caused the tsunami. Like right. that thing you think is this is the You're end. You're questioning even this what is you the know. end. Yeah, it mm. makes you wonder, like seriously. Mm. But I mean, this is where we have God. And you know, even God made the doctors. Mm. And he knows our limits. He knows where we end. And that's where he's just starting from. And I see it over and over and over again. And it's a strong point of encouragement for me, you know, to people, to everybody around me. Nothing, nothing is impossible. Right. Nothing. Like, 
nothing, like zero. No, we're not talking of health. We're not talking of just diseases now. We're not right. We spoke about strange afflictions. We spoke about... Uh -huh. Nothing uh -huh. is impossible. Uh -huh. Just bring it to the altar. Yes. Let us meet at the altar. Yes. And then you would see if it is really that big mountain you think it is. It will just be made a plain. Amen. And because faith is rising, people are just picking up their testimonies and walking away. People right. are, just, are just getting themselves, you know, just getting it sorted. Many issues immigrate. What is Easily, it? Easily. Where, where, uh, like, mm. where are we going to even start from mm. and end? I, I, that's why at a point I just became, I just like, sober. I can't even, yes, very mm. sober. I could not mm. even say anything. Mm. But I thank God that I'm living in this time. I thank God for the servant of God, mm. Papa, our Papa. It's a global invasion. It's a global, what was the word? tsunami global you know a lot of things that we thought that we've boxed up and said this is it we can't do it just forget this one let's leave it for god god has literally come down now and he's sorting out those things that we packed in some boxes mm. and said let's just forget this mm. one god is coming down he's and he's them. sorting it out ah, right here thank you lord. right now thank you lord thank you thank jesus you, lord. god be wow, praised wow wow you know? you know little one of the psalmist said i was glad when they, when said, they said let me, us go let us go to the house of, of the, the lord. lord i mean where 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 where, where would you rather be? Oh, Jesus. Where would you? There's no place. There's no, you know, the disciples will say, Master, where, 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 where are we going where to? Where are we go? going to? Where are we going again? Where, where we have seen everything? Where, 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 you, where, where else we won't go, go again? Let there's me no say, you know, it's, 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 there's nowhere it's, else to go. Oh, All Jesus. that we need pertaining to life, pertaining to godliness, everything that you need is right here in this house, is right here oh. on the altar of fire, is right here in God. There's no place you should rather be. Come oh, yeah. and join us oh, on yeah. NSPPD. You know, watching through today's testimonies, there's never a time that we're going to outgrow our dependency on God. Yeah. I saw old women, uh, that, that old um, elderly lady mm. that had the um, edema the branch, in her eyes. Yes, 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 yes. And I thought to myself, wow, there's never a time we're going to outgrow prayer. God. There's never a time we're going to outgrow our dependency on, on God. God. Little wonder God said, I will be your God through your lifetime. Till your, he till your head is, Turn you gray. know, turns gray. Yeah. I will be your God. Yeah. So, you know, we just need to continue to seek him day in, day out. Day in, day out. Come and join us on NSPPD as we continue to do so Monday through oh, till Jesus. Friday. Do not come back alone. God is here. Don't wait for an affliction to find you before you run to the altar of fire. Be here and grounded. Let it not even come at all. That affliction will not even show up oh, yeah. at all. Oh, yeah. We are redeeming times and seasons. We are redeeming generations right here on the altar of fire. Yeah. Come back and join us. Do not come back alone. The Strange Acts of God continues Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Nigerian time. Go tell a friend to tell a friend friends saturday morning we will be right here come back and join us do you have a testimony of your own <laughs> i'll not Pour say much <laughs> do you have a testimony of your own i won't i won't say much go ahead and send in your testimony to the testimony number written at the bottom of the screen send in your testimony do not keep back the wonders of God. Let the world know what God has done for you. There is a posture that shows gratitude. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and send in your testimony. Do not be afraid. Do not be ashamed to testify of the wonders of God in your life. Wow, are you following us across all of our social media handles? Go ahead and search for Streams of Joy International. Search for Pastor Jerry Is a like and subscribe. There are tons of scam pages. Make sure you don't fall a victim. Make sure you're following us on our right handles. And be a part of what God is doing in this house in the now. Have you clicked on the share button? Go ahead and bless another person. Be a channel through which God can reach some other person. Go ahead and click on the share button if you are yet to be a blessing to your brother, be a blessing to your sister. The world needs to know that God still exists. The world needs to know that God has not lost his power. Mm -hmm. The world needs to know that he is reversing what doctors have called irreversible right here on the altar of fire, Dr. Choma Uchendu. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite consultant <laughs> of thalmic surgeon thank you so much ma for your time it's, thank you for the value you brought on board we thank, thank God. you so much thank, thank you so you much ma. for having me
pleasure is ours. Thank you so Grateful. much, Ma. Yeah. Wow, thank you to our viewers for watching. Thank you so much for sharing. I look forward to seeing you next week, Saturday. But till then, remember that what our God cannot do does not what exist. What our God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. Yeah.